Welcome to the third episode of our journey through the Saxon villages of Transylvania. We're up early today as we have a bit of a drive ahead of us to one of the most important towns in the region. Before we reach our destination, we make a small detour to visit the charming village of Mullenkrab, also known as Malmkrog in German. The village's fortified church is home to some of the best preserved and significant 14th to 15th century Gothic murals in Transylvania. Nearby, overlooking the village, we find the Apafi Manor, which belonged to one of Transylvania's most important noble families. It's also the filming location for the 2020 film Malm Krog, directed by Christy Puyu. We finally arrive in Sigishwara, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the best preserved medieval fortified towns in Europe. Here we meet Peter, our guide, who takes us on a story-filled walk through Sigishwara's charming cobble streets. Peter is one of those rare guides who always carries a bunch of books with him, ready to share fascinating insights on history and culture. As you can see, I'm the man of the written, of the printed, yeah? I like to say about myself, I'm from the Gutenberg generation, well, not from the Zuckerberg generation. We made a full 20-minute video of our tour with Peter, so be sure to check it out. After the tour, Peter takes us to a very special place, the bright ancient oak tree reserve, home to over 500 trees aged between 200 and 800 years. It's a wonderful escape into nature just outside Sigishwara. It's a natural reservation, has a specific name in German, it's called die Breite, the large space. Hmm? The people helped to um, have this kind of, uh, of combination between wild meadow and tree because they needed the trees as a resource for wood. Here it was very popular in the Middle Age time to bring the pigs, to feed the pigs with icorns and as a result of this feeding to have a very large level of lard. And lard was used by the peasant because they needed to have energy to work on the uh, hard work on the field. And in century this has uh, survived as a, as a place because the community took care about them. Yeah? This is typically for a swamp because we have a very large level of clay under the grass. Yeah? The, the clay and the sand, it's very proper for the oaks to grow and the oaks like to be independent and you see it likes to be, have a, a big space. And it's very, very interesting how durable they are. Some shepherd yeah, decided to make a fire here yeah? and as you can see in spite of the fire the largest part of the tree it's still surviving it's still green yeah the students from the school that we saw in Sigishwara decided to start a spring event here it was called Skopation Fest the celebration of the Brom yeah? that had this initiative to uh, build Brahms to sell them, to take the money and to organize this celebration with brass band, with uh, uh, orchestra, friends and family, 10, 12 family, was building a table around an oak. They was preparing, they was cooking, yeah? and then starting with the middle of the day until the evening they was dancing and having party and uh, enjoy the, the, the nature coming back to life. And now you can see what we call, with love, our grandfather, because he was managed to survive here. After the period with the, with the celebration of the nature, unfortunately we experienced the Second World War. That was the moment when this celebration stopped and uh, with bad experiences, because the German army wanted to build here a military airport. And after the Russian army came here, they decided it's a good uh, resource of wood and more than half of the of the um, oaks was cut it you can see the rest of them huh? and after that just 620 more or less have, uh, still have survived yeah? you can see as a dimension you can see the rest of the woodpecker yeah? uh, the measurement was made more or less with the mathematical reformer because there are two it was not invasive because it's considered a very important natural monument and then this is the reason why we presume something 
700, 750, maybe 800 years old. And you see over here, the one of the branch collapsed, but still, it's green. It's still alive. The communists had the idea to make agriculture here. And what you think? They have planted corn, and after a couple of months, the size of the corn was like this. Why? No nutrients, because you have clay on the, in the underground. Sadly, it's getting late, and we have to leave the bright and its choir of crickets behind, as we still have to visit a wonderful herb garden and make our way to our cozy accommodation for the night. You'll see all of that in our next episode, so be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss it.